Hello again, Fluffy here, and I want to teach you guys a little bit about Brink Teamwork today. So I'm bringing you some gameplay that I I played earlier, and uh, there was a lot of good teamwork going on in this game, so I've just put together a bunch of clips of the good teamwork to show you guys, because I, I don't think a lot of people in Brink, when they play online, realize that playing together as a team is key and always makes it a lot easier. So uh, the first objective in this one, I'm playing on security tower. You have to uh, switch to soldier first, and then you go plant a charge on the door and uh, blow the door with a charge. And one of my teammates has already put it on, so that's what I mean. Like that's an efficient team. The first 30 seconds into the game, and they've already got the charge on the door. And uh, this wasn't my best game. I just kind of I liked how my team worked together, so I wanted to bring you, bring you the teamwork. So you can see the timer in the corner saying when the HV charge is going to go off. And uh, yeah, the the gun I'm using right now is a cross SMG, and I don't have any attachments because at this point I didn't have anything unlocked. So I'll let you guys know as I get the attachments. And, uh, yeah, so now the charge is blown, so, uh, next on security tower, you have to be, uh, oh, okay, so here, I want to show you how quickly you can get one of these command posts. I don't think people know even that you can get a command post with more than one person grabbing it at the same time, and you'll get the command post a lot faster that way. So I switched to operative, because now we have to go hack a door, oh, no, we have to go hack a safe, sorry. And, uh... So I'm running up to go hack the safe because uh, I switched to operative and I always try to take the initiative because if, if no one does it, someone's got to go and do the objective or else you don't win in Brink. Not unless you do the objective. Unless you're defending the objective, then that's a different story. But right now I'm on the, the team that does the objective. And I can't think of what their names are right now, or I'd say it. And I'm down, but you can see I have a medic right there, so I'm just going to wait it out. Medics are always extremely helpful, but only when they decide to do their job. If you're just going to run around as a medic and kill people, it's not really going to help your team. you got to revive people. So we got two operatives in here now, hacking it. And it'll go, the timer will go a lot faster with two operatives. Except he just got blown up by a grenade, so now it's just me. And, uh, you can see I have so much backup here, and it's really nice. Like, I haven't played in a lot of games where four to five people are actually defending the, the objective with you. Makes it a lot easier. And you see they're planting mines around the doors, and they're holding it down nice. Oh, and I just wanted to say, I said earlier in a comment reply that playing this game, looking down your sights like in Call of Duty doesn't really work? Well, I was wrong, because it really just depends on what gun you use. Hip firing does work a lot better in this game, but there are certain guns where it works a lot better to look down the sights. So I was wrong about that, and I just want to say, after I experimented with guns more, I, uh, I decided that it does actually work to look down your sights. And right there where I jumped out, that's the best way to get out of there once you have to do the next objective. And uh, the next objective is you have to take a briefcase out of the safe that I just hacked, and you have to run it to a door that's off in the distance, it's marked on the map, and uh, you have to run it to that door, put the passcode in, open the door, and get the hostage out. So you can see the guy that's highlighted right now. He's running to the door to go put the passcode in. And this was really bad here. I, I just let him got, get killed. I had no idea that guy wasn't on our team. And I even look at him again there. And I'm like, oh, that's okay. Yeah, return the save. That's all right. Until I fucking... And I'm like fucking people up too. And he's just behind me. And then I was like, oh shit, wait. Return the save. Motherfucker. I'm pretty sure he had a... Do you have a disguise on? Yeah, I'm pretty sure he had a disguise on. I don't know. You guys can tell me. But yeah, so uh, oh shit, I'm dead. So yeah, so you can see now he just went and he's uh, putting the passcode in now. And uh, so the passcode's in and now there's even, like, this is all one game by the way, these aren't multiple games. 
you have to do this many objectives and you go through it. And I actually think it's a lot of fun. I like objective based games. So, uh, yeah, so now we have to escort Neshiev. And I don't know if I pronounced that right, but they say it enough times, and I'm pretty sure it's Neshiev. And they always, oh, all these guys you have to escort are crippled motherfuckers, and they walk so damn slow. But again, this is like one of the first times I've had four or five guys watching and escorting at the same time. And that always makes, them, makes it a lot faster. And you have to just guard them from all lefts and like get in front of them and make sure... Now that's what you should do, is have a few in front of him and see how this guy's planting mines and turrets, covering the entrances. And he won't hit your own mines, and like, you won't hit each other's mines. Now, I'm playing in big maps, by the way. So, uh... If you don't know, Brink came out with an update, so big maps is actually the only way you can play with full 8-on-8 eight eight now. And I prefer to play with full 8-on-8. Eight eight. So yeah, this was a pretty well full map. There might have been a few computers here and there, but uh... It was pretty well full, and that's why I really liked the teamwork, because it wasn't coming from computers, it was coming from actual people. But if you want to succeed in this game, you really have to work as a team. And I'm down again. And the best, uh, oh, by the way, yeah, when you're escorting Nechiev, you have to be a, a medic. So that, uh, so that when he goes down, when they kill him, it doesn't just end, like, see, he just went down there. I'm not a medic yet, I'm still an operative, I haven't had a chance to change. But, uh, yeah, when he goes down, a medic can just throw him a syringe like he would to one of his teammates, and I skipped ahead here to a little further in it. So, see, hey, he just chucked one right in, like, we got a good team here, watching this team back. But then you see the other team, <coughs> and they've got a nice system, too. Because, uh... You'll wait till I get a little closer. They've got some serious defenses set up. Like, they knew he was coming to this area, so they, they set up ahead of time. Because this is pretty much, like, the end of the line. He's got to go through a little bit more, and then... Well, I guess it's more like three-quarters of the way. He's still got a little bit to go. you got to take him a while. And every time you uh, do an objective, it gives you more time. Like, you can see they had four turrets. I think five, even. I don't know if there's one in the left there, too. But yeah. Four turrets and, like, six or seven guys are all just waiting around here. But by the way, I fucked up all those turrets, so, you yeah. know. And, yeah, so then, uh... He's a little further now. I'm actually way too far away from him. I could be closer to him right now. He wouldn't even be moving right now if I was the only one escorting him. But that's what I realize right now. And always buff your own teammates. I feel like I'm the only one on my team that buffs people. Because Brink is kind of like a different game. You have to learn the systems. Ooh, knock down grenade. Oh, and I'm down. So this is like pretty much right at the end here, but you can see they're doing the same thing. They're setting up turrets. That's why it's good examples on both sides of good teamwork here. Show you guys what to do on security tower. But uh, yeah, we eventually... Because uh, this actually took a lot of tries. You can see the timer going down. I cut it and cut it. And uh, yeah, we, ha we only had two minutes left when we finally got him through. It took us about 20 minutes to just get him up there. At this point, you can see I changed to a medic. I run up and buff my guy's health like Rambo. Yeah. Oh. And, uh, yeah, and then we... Oh, it was a minute 30, yeah. So we just barely got him through. But you can see, you need to work as a team. That's me in the purple, by the way, with the mohawk. Anyway, I just wanted to teach you guys a little bit about teamwork and Brink, and I'll be bringing you a lot more Brink videos. Give this video a like or favorite or whatever if you like the Brink videos, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. A crab fisherman found an unconscious man on an inflatable life raft. The unconscious man was chained to a black box. A mysterious black box. And I'm not being racist, that's just what color the box was, alright?